Hey guys, it's Amanda. So today I have my updated everyday makeup tutorial. So I'm showing you my full face. This isn't always what I do completely because you know, nobody got time for that. Honestly, like I will do like no eyeshadow or no like blush or bronzer um, most of the days just because I'm lazy and I sleep in really, really late. Um, but this is like what I would do if I had a little extra time and I wanted to, you know, do everything that I would normally do. Like I usually do this on the weekends when I'm not like rushed and stuff. So this is pretty much my everyday makeup routine. Uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy this. Not much more to say about it, but, um, hope you like it. It's not anything too schnazzy because I... You know, I don't need anything dramatic. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get started. So to start off, I'm going to use the Benefit Professional Primer and I'm just putting that on the back of my hand and rubbing it all over my face, blending it in and I'm obsessed with this primer. It makes my face so smooth. This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Concealer that I'm also obsessed with. I've been using this for so long and I really like it. I'm just applying this underneath my eyes and then on any blemishes that need a bit more coverage. And this is only one concealer I'm going to use. I'm going to use another one too because this isn't enough for my dark circles. They are pretty cray. Might not be able to tell on camera. But I'm just using my finger and rubbing it in. I like using my fingers best because I think it blends into my skin a lot better. Unfortunately, my skin is so dry from it being the winter time. So underneath my eyes is just all flaky and gross. And I didn't even notice it until later in the video. And you'll see my reaction. Oh, right there. <laughs> um, this is the MAC concealer, it came in this palette, and I'm using a brush from, for this one, and it's from Sigma, and I'm just using this on top to give a little bit more coverage and to brighten up a little bit because it's a little lighter. This is the NARS Cream to Powder Foundation, and I'm using this sponge. It's different from the one that came with it. This is just from Ulta, and I'm just dabbing this all over my face. It has a pretty light coverage, but it is buildable. So it's cream to powder, but it doesn't dry as a powder that will just set your makeup and you don't need to use any other powder. So I'm going to set this with uh, my Chanel powder and it's pretty fancy, I know. I wouldn't have bought this, but so many people told me to get it. And then I decided to try it out and it's awesome. I love it. I'm just using this big fluffy brush and brushing it all over my face to set it. And then I'm using my Hoola bronzer. I'm obsessed. This is like the one thing that I always love to do. I'm using this brush that comes with one of the box powders, not the bronzer. And it really just like defines your cheekbones so well. And it completely transforms your face and makes it so much slimmer and it gives it a lot more dimension. So your face doesn't look all flat and powdery and cakey, just like one solid color. It doesn't look like that. It gives it just more of a warmer, and natural and contoured look, which I'm obsessed with. I can go on forever. Then this is the Rockateur blush. This is when I'm feeling a little sassy and I wanna do something more, so I'm just gonna apply this to my cheeks as some blush. For my eyes, I'm gonna start off with the Urban Decay Primer Potion in Eden, and I'm putting this on the back of my hand and then putting it on my eye. And I like this because it covers up the redness on my eyes because my eyes are just naturally red like that. And I, it's kind of yellow though, so that's the only thing I don't like about it. But I'm just going to blend it in and make it look as natural as possible. And this will also hold any eyeshadow that I want to wear if I do choose to wear eyeshadow. Because I, like I said, I don't wear eyeshadow like every day. I am going to show you what eyeshadow I would do though if I did wear it. So this is Stila in the Light Palette and I'm using this bare color which is just a matte brown and I'm just brushing that into my crease and then kind of a little bit on the lid. Then I'm taking Kitten which is like a champagne -y color and just dabbing that on my lid to brighten it up a little bit. Then I'm going to take my Stila eyeliner and nobody's perfect. I'm definitely not perfect at all, as you can tell, because this is terrible. Um, I'm really bad at this. I really need to work on it. I do it every day, yet I can't seem to do it perfect at all. Um, but this is me trying, and I'm not a professional, so 
I hope you guys don't expect me to be perfect at it. So this is kind of what I do. Even if I mess up, it's alright because when I do my mascara, it kind of camouflages it so you can't tell that much. So as long as it's along the guidelines, it's alright. Now I'm taking my Revlon eyelash curler and I'm just going to do what you do with an eyelash curler. You curl your eyelashes. So I'm going to do that right now. Then I'm taking the Their Real Mascara from Benefit and applying this to my lashes. I love this mascara. I think it makes my eyelashes look as good as they could possibly look. But it tends to smudge underneath my eye during the day, which sucks. Um, I wish they had it in waterproof because that would be a miracle for me. But unfortunately, they don't. So I'm just going to use this. Don't forget the bottom lashes. This is very important for me because it think I think it makes my eyes just look so much better. I'm just going to top it off with my EOS lip balm because I don't really wear lipstick or lip gloss at all on a daily basis. So that is my complete winter everyday makeup routine. So I hope you guys enjoy this. I hope you learned something from it, I guess, if you wanted to know what I do. So thank you so much for watching. See you later. Bye. Mwah.